Welcome to the channel and welcome to the Bayou or the River Wharf in Otley. Now Otley's right on my doorstep so I thought it would be a shame not to come out on the paddleboard. The new carbon, the cruise carbon, I thought we'd come out and have a little bit of fun and just go up here at the river. I'm told it's very very relaxing and beautiful. Pepper's behind me just up there. You've got to kind of jump down onto the banking. Just watch of your fins because it's a little bit shallow so you're going to get your feet wet when you get in. And let's go for a little paddle. I've got a 10 day trip coming up. 7 to 10 day trip in Wales and I thought it would be a great opportunity on my doorstep just to get a little bit more practice in. So welcome to the River Wharf, welcome to the beautiful, beautiful River Wharf here at Otley and let's go for a little paddle and see what we think. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> So there's Pepper, and we're going to work our way. We've got to actually go under this rope now. But we're going to have to lay on the, lay on the board to get under here. There is something just so beautiful about even just being out in the middle of the river. Taking it all in, the water is so calm and beautiful, it's almost like a mirror up ahead. And I can see fish bobbing up and down, I've seen a kingfisher fly past. It's just so peaceful and relaxing. This has got to be good for people who have mental health issues. It is just so tranquil. So this is my bluefin carbon 10-8 board and somebody on the Facebook page said to me oh that's a super low budget board is it it seems to be mid-tier to me maybe you can tell me differently but I really love the look of this board I think it's a great looking board there is the cruise as I've mentioned which is the same board basically but this one has two different carbon inserts in it when you blow it up they're supposed to give you a bit more rigidity if that makes sense and the the more rigid the board is, the more stable it is, aka trying to get closer to an actual solid board. I think I paid around £400 for this and that came with pretty much everything. I've got a quick release uh, tether here but we'll look at that maybe in another video. But I really do love this board. I'm not experienced enough to be able to jump on a different board and go, oh this is absolutely different. Now I know you can get touring boards which are a little bit bigger and that might be something we look into eventually. But what I'm told by my instructor when I went for the advanced training is that this is a great all-round board and it's what they've got. It'll enable you to be able to do a bit of travelling, a bit of this, you can even go surf, sup surfing and various other things on this board. So it's an all-rounder and that's exactly what I wanted because there are other things that I'm probably going to want to try at some point. I'm not that bothered about getting a seat on here to do sort of kayaking, stroke kayaking, kayaking. <laughs> I always think that's up in the mountains of the Mayans. Yeah, if you know what hayaking is, that's probably a hike, a kayak, and some skiing. I have no idea, but that's hayaking for you anyway. Uh, yeah, we've got a dry bag, I've got some various goodies in there, which I might do on another video, but I'm just going to stop here, have a little bit of a, little bit of a sneaky snack. The location I am now, I'm not actually quite sure how far I, up I am, but there are some cars parked there. There is a car parked there, but it seems a little bit quiet for my liking. It's probably where those guys in the kayak have packed but yeah we'll have a little sneaky snack and then we'll get back out on the river nice one Lou you'd be surprised just how quickly you end up feeling thirsty and hungry because obviously there's quite a lot of graft going in there to get this especially when you're going up the current but going back we are going to absolutely fly come here give us a kiss I'm talking to Pepper, not you. This is the same part of the river that you'll actually be sharing with the higher boats. But obviously at 8 o'clock in the morning, there's not going to be anybody here. But up ahead, I can see there are some wild swimmers. So that gives you an idea of just how clean the water is here. And I'm told you can drink it, not that you'd want to. But if you did fall in, 
it's not like the river air that's going to be absolutely filthy. Hiya, I take it the water's clean then? I don't go at river air. River air's filthy. Wow, can you imagine if that was the bottom of your garden? Straight down to the bottom and there's the river. Or even a canal I would love to somewhere where you live somebody where you go to the bottom of the garden and there is a canal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's keep on heading through the trees here. And I think a little bit further up as we get around the corner, there should be a place for us to get off the banking. And we'll have a little chat. Yeah, I know I look terrible in the morning, but hey ho, that's life after 50. Morning. Morning. At this point in the river, I'm actually having to fight quite hard here to get past another section that's water flowing really quite fast. And the depth here is probably not more than two foot, I would say. Bit. You'd be surprised how quickly you actually get tired, especially against a, uh, a fast moving current like this. So it's a good job that you've got water with you, something to eat, and of course we've got sunglasses and sun cream on because UV uh, Obviously, I'm actually touching the bottom here. It's not very deep. Need to think about your health while you're paddleboarding. Moving really fast. There is a slight wind as well, occasionally, which is why I'm kneeling down. This is about as far as you can get on your paddleboard beyond these rapids here. You probably could walk through if you get far enough up and push yourself onto the bank and you could probably crawl around but that's about as far as we're going to be going today as you can see there is quite a lot of current there as I'm just in this little culvert on the side so that's about as far as we're going to get so it's time for us to head round and head back I'm just going to get into the little sides here so you can see how much that current is pulling or pushing I'll probably just stop here in the trees. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's not quite white water, but you can see there are a few little white breakers in there. So that's going to be as far as we're going to go, and I'm actually kneeling for stability. So it's time for us to turn around now and uh, head back. Such a beautiful location. If they get the opportunity to come here to the to the wharf, Wharfdale, the River Wharf, come and do it, and I'm going backwards. So it's time for us to head out. <laughs> Hardly any effort at all needed now. This is brilliant. This is exactly what you want. You want to be going downstream on your way back. Brilliant. You just sit here and relax now. If you do go in, it's less of a shock. Now I jumped in the canal on my training and believe you me, it is cold. I got up to it and it took my breath away literally. So if you're doing this in winter, I would probably go for a dry suit to be honest with you. Um, I'm a bit of a wuss. I don't like the cold at all. <laughs> I don't, I really don't. What are we getting it radiators on? But that's just a piece of advice. I, I'm new to all this, so please don't think that I, I think I know everything. It's only from having some extra training and spending a lot of time on the Sup Yorkshire and the UK Sup boarding and asking a million questions and talking to people who are a lot more experienced than I am. But this is just so relaxing. Oh, I could almost lay down. I'd lay down if I could but my, my preserver has got like a cushion on the back. That's really uncomfortable. I was going to get a shot going, look how comfortable I am on the board, just asleep on the river. No, not with this one. <laughs> you idiot.
and there we are there's the bridge the main bridge at Otley in front of us now when it comes to licenses I don't know if you're really going to get checked here but it's better to be safe than sorry if you get one from the UK canoeing website it covers you for all rivers and canals I mean there are some in the Lake District that still want to charge you even if you're a National Trust member and you've paid your license you've got to pay again why wouldn't you why wouldn't they try and get more money and fleece you but a really relaxing beautiful little paddle here the water today is just fantastic really calm and beautiful obviously there's a bit of a current in the river today but yeah I've really really enjoyed today it's easy to find it's not that difficult to get into the actual water you could actually go on the left hand side as well have a look further down where the paddle boats go in I hope you've enjoyed this video we'll get down towards the bridge now get ourselves out deflate the board get back to Pepper and then we'll go into Otley for something to eat the kayak of it back to civilization here eh? So we're back here now, there's the park over there and we're going to go under the wire and back to where we started as long as we don't go towards the weir <laughs> which is just down there straight over the edge yeah I can see where we're going to stop over there Time to get our feet wet. And there's Pepper waiting for us. Brilliant. And there we go. We're back. We're back. Great fun. Job done. Which reminds me now that we're actually back, we're gonna to have to have a name for the board. Obviously the van's called Pepper. Need a name for the board. Any suggestions? Leave them in the comments box below. Enjoy that. Very relaxing, very chilled out. But there's something quite amazing of just getting away from society and all these people here and getting further out up the river, past the bridge, all the way up to the top. There's the odd kayaker the odd little boat there but barring that you are out in in the surrounding area on the water and it's quiet it is just absolutely amazing it's so peaceful and uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy this sport moving forward it's yeah it's very very different to mountain biking obviously but I've really really enjoyed today I've actually lost a fin I think that was as I was sat on it on the banking so we're gonna have to get another fin so lesson learned there they come and done really easily it's just like a little clip whereas the main the main rudder is a, a screw bolt through so that's not going to come off but yeah really really enjoyed it come down and do it it's very very easy to park up and actually get in the river it's just there in fact just there 
you're gonna have to step down and then go under the wire but barring that highly recommended hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe share and what's up man give us a like subscribe and share and there should be some more sub videos no doubt coming soon when we head up towards wales or up or left never eat soggy waffles when we head west towards wales <laughs> see you later tatty bar from the botg remember life's an adventure let's go pepper oh, dogs just had a shot outside of my car <laughs>